Welcome to our lecture line. So what's cha what changes now when we do this integral instead of that one? So here we can clearly see that instead of dt, we now have dy there. Well, we still have the line integral defined by the parametric equations, or at least the path defined by these parametric equations. So let's first plug those in and then see what we have to do with the dy. So this now becomes equal to the integral. Instead of f, we're now going to write this here, so this becomes xy squared in the i direction, plus 2 in the j direction, plus x in the k direction, and that's times dy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to write x and y in terms of the parametric equations, in terms of the variable t. So this becomes equal to the integral. And instead of x, we have, uh, let's see here, 8 times t. Instead of y squared, we end up with a squared divided by t squared, the i direction, plus 2 in the j direction, plus x would be a times t in the k direction. And now, instead of dy, because obviously since we have the variable t in here, we can't have a differential dy, we have to change that to dt somehow. So that we go back up here, we'll look at y being a over t, that means that y equals a times t to the minus 1, and therefore dy would be equal to, plug the 1 in here, we've got minus a t to the minus 2, which is equal to minus a over, oh, and I forgot one thing. Can't forget my differential dt, I want to write on this side, so that's times dt, which is equal to a minus a over t squared dt. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace dy by the differential in terms of t. And that's how we handle that one. So this becomes times minus a over t squared times dt. And then we multiply that with each of these three terms inside those parentheses. So this becomes equal to the integral from 1 to 2 because now everything is in terms of t and the limits of integration for t is from 1 to 2. So we get a minus a squared, ooh, ooh, I'll take that back. We already have an a and an a squared, that's a cubed, times a, that becomes a to the fourth. So we have a minus a to the fourth divided by, we have a t in the denominator and a t squared, that becomes t cubed in the denominator in the i direction. And then here we have minus 2a over t squared in the j direction, and then here we get minus a squared over t in the k direction, and the whole thing times dt, and now we're ready to integrate, because now everything is in terms of the variable t. So here when we integrate that, this becomes equal to, well, when we integrate 1 over t cubed, that's t to the minus 3, so we raise that, that becomes t to the minus 2, divided by the new exponent, which would be minus 2, so we end up with a, a to the fourth, divided by 2t squared. See, that's correct here, we have t to the minus 3, that becomes t to the minus 2, that's over 1 over t squared, and divided by the new exponent, minus 2, which cancels out the minus up here. So we're good, and that's in the i direction. Over here, we do the same thing. We have t to the minus 2. Integrate becomes t to the minus 1. So we have 2a over t. And the minus 1 cancels out. This minus becomes plus in the j direction. And finally, here, we end up with a minus a squared times the natural log of t. And the whole thing in the k direction. And the whole thing is evaluated from, from 1 to 2. So now let's go ahead, I'll do it down here. So let's do it down here, we can see what we're doing here. So we plug in the upper limit, and then we plug in the lower limit. So we get the following, we get a fourth over two times one over, and let me do it like this, one over, when we plug in the upper limit, that would be four, minus when we plug in the lower limit, we get one over one. And that's in the i direction, plus two a, times, plug in the upper limit, we have 1 over 2, minus plug in the lower limit, 1 over 1, and that would be in the j direction, and then finally, minus a squared times the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 1, and that's in the k direction. 
And then we have to simplify things a little bit. So here we have minus 1 plus 1 4, that's minus 3 quarters times this would be minus 3 eighths. So we end up with a minus 3 over 8, 8 to the fourth, and that's in the i direction. So let's see, that's correct. So minus 3 fourths, that's minus 3 eighths. All right. Next, we have minus 1 plus a half, that's minus a half, times 2, that would be minus 1 times a, so minus a in the j direction. And finally, the last one here, the natural log of 1 goes to 0, so it becomes minus a squared times the natural log of 2 in the k direction. And this here is the evaluation of that integral. The only difference with the previous video, instead of dt, we had dy, so we took dy, by taking y, taking a derivative, and we plug this in for here instead of dy, and then we evaluate. And that's how that one is done.